Hey everybody, Andrarki here. I'm the community liaison for Steemit Inc. We've got lots of new users on the platform and more coming every day, so I would like to provide you all with a brief introduction which explains how Steemit rewards its users for the content they contribute to the platform. The first thing you need to know is that Steemit rewards its users by leveraging a revolutionary cryptocurrency called the Steam Blockchain Protocol. The Steam Blockchain Protocol is similar to Bitcoin, except that in addition to being able to store a list of token transactions, the Steam Blockchain can also store content and use the token it creates to reward people who upload the most valuable content. So when you post, comment, and upvote on steemit.com, you're actually interacting with a blockchain technology. Like most blockchain protocols, the Steam protocol creates money out of thin air, called Steam tokens. It creates these tokens at a rate of 9.5% a year. 10% of these tokens go to a group of people called witnesses in exchange for maintaining the database where all the content is stored. But 75% of these new tokens are distributed to users to reward them for uploading valuable content. Now, Steam tokens are super cool. They can be transferred anywhere in the world in three seconds and without any fees. Like most cryptocurrencies, they're basically like shares in the technology. They are the lifeblood that powers the entire system. And so if the system's value goes up over time, so too will the value of Steam tokens. There are, however, some problems with Steam tokens, which explain why our rewards take the form of Steam power and Steam dollars. The first problem is that Steam tokens have a volatile price. The price is entirely determined by the market, which determines the real value of the tokens in real time. That means that the price can change significantly from one day to the next. The Steam blockchain, however, was designed to encourage ordinary people to share valuable content. When the Steemit team was evaluating what motivates people to do work, they looked at what traditional businesses do. And traditional businesses typically leverage two types of money to incentivize their employees, cash and shares. They use cash to motivate them in the short term by giving them money that is stable and can be cashed out at any time. They use shares to motivate employees for the long term by giving them money that represents equity in the enterprise and which can't be cashed out immediately. These are the functions that the Steam Dollar and Steam Power serve. Both are basically IOUs for Steam tokens that serve different functions. The Steam Dollar is designed to always be worth at least one US dollar. That way, if you make $100 on a post, you'll be able to immediately grasp how much value you earned and you can rest easy knowing that it'll be worth 100 US dollars a year from now or 10 years from now. So how does that all work? Well, Steam dollars are basically IOUs for however many Steam tokens it takes to give you a US dollar worth of value when you cash out. If Steam tokens are trading for 50 cents and you go to cash out one Steam dollar, the Steam blockchain protocol will give you two Steam tokens in exchange for your one Steam dollar, leaving you with one US dollar worth of Steam tokens. You can then use those two Steam tokens to buy a US dollar worth of Bitcoin, Ether, or any other cryptocurrency. At least that's how the system originally worked. Fortunately, exchanges like Bittrex will now accept Steam dollars directly. So if you have 50 Steam dollars, you can use an exchange to convert that directly into at least $50 worth of Bitcoin. And if you want US dollars, you can use a site like Coinbase.com to convert those $50 in Bitcoin into 50 US dollars. Steam power, on the other hand, must be converted to Steam tokens before you can cash it out. One unit of Steam Power is an IOU for one Steam token. Because the Steam Blockchain Protocol must always give you one Steam token in exchange for one unit of Steam Power, Steam Power represents equity in the underlying protocol, just like any cryptocurrency. The more valuable Steam tokens become, the more valuable your Steam Power becomes. But Steam Power has several additional features which make it superior to rewarding users directly in Steam tokens. The first is that the Steam blockchain algorithm can leverage a user's Steam power to determine how much power their upvotes should have. As I said earlier, 75% of the new tokens created every year 
are distributed to content creators. But how does the Steam algorithm determine who gets how much and in a way that people will accept as objectively fair? Not an easy question considering that evaluating the quality of content is entirely subjective. The Steam blockchain resolves this issue by crowdsourcing the determination of value. Content is deemed valuable by the blockchain based on how many upvotes it receives and who those upvotes come from. The more Steam power you have, the more rewards are allocated to the content that you upvote. In other words, the people who are most heavily invested in the platform have the most influence over who is rewarded. And yes, upvoting yourself is perfectly fine. In fact, buying Steam power is one way to accelerate the process of getting your content the attention you feel it deserves. The other benefit of Steam power is that it is extremely secure. Like all cryptocurrencies, if somebody hacks your computer and steals your Steam tokens, there's almost nothing anyone can do to get it back to you. Steam Power, on the other hand, can only be converted to Steam tokens in 13 weekly installments during a process referred to as powering down. When you initiate a power down, your Steam Power isn't immediately converted into Steam tokens. Instead, every seven days, one thirteenth of your Steam power is converted into Steam tokens, which you can then sell on exchanges. The reason the process is called powering down is because as you unload your Steam power, your influence in the system decreases accordingly, since the Steam blockchain protocol uses your Steam power to determine your influence. Since the process is gradual, if your account is hacked and the power down process is initiated by a malicious actor, you have plenty of time to regain control over your account by utilizing our industry first account recovery process and canceling the power down before much damage has been done. Now the astute observers among you might have noticed that I only explained where 85% of the newly created Steam tokens go. The remaining 15% of the new money created goes to paying the holders of Steam power. It's basically an interest payment. It's a small reward for investing in the long term of the platform. All right, my goal with this video is to give you a brief overview of the three point systems that you'll find on steamit.com, Steam tokens, Steam dollars, and Steam power. I explained that you can think of these point systems as the equivalent of cash in the case of Steam dollars and shares in the case of Steam power. Steam dollars can be converted into anything immediately and you'll receive at least one US dollar worth of whatever you're buying when you do so. Steam power are shares that you can't immediately sell which earn interest and determine your level of influence in the system. But remember, everything you do on steamit.com is totally free. So if you really want to understand how everything works, just start posting, engaging with the community and earning rewards. I'm absolutely certain you'll quickly discover that it isn't the fact that you can earn money for your content that makes steamit.com so special. It's the supportive and engaging interactions the platform promotes that makes our small town on the internet so rewarding. All right, that's it for now. I want to do more of these Steamit 101 videos, so please comment on the Steamit companion piece and let me know what you'd like to learn about next. Thanks for watching.